In this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade the hard drive or SSD in your PlayStation 3. Before starting, make sure you have the following equipment. Your replacement hard drive or SSD, a flash drive for storing a backup or the PS3's OS, your computer so you can download the OS onto your flash drive, a small size flat tip and Phillips screwdriver, and most importantly, your PlayStation 3. Also recommend grabbing a controller with a USB cable. This will work for all PS3s, although this tutorial will only apply for the original fat PS3. Upgrading the drive on the PS3 Slim and Super Slim models is basically the same apart from where the drive enclosure is located. Before doing anything, you need to download the PlayStation 3 system software. You can easily do this at PlayStation.com and I'll have a link in the description where you can get it. If you had a soft modded console before, you're going to want to download the custom firmware that you previously used. You can use the original system software if you choose to, but this is basically on mod your console. So if you have a hacked console, reinstall the custom firmware that you had before, and then you won't have to remod the system, which let me tell you, that's a huge pain. The PS3 update file should end up in your downloads folder, and once it does, load up your USB flash drive. Make a new folder in it, and call it PS3. Inside the PS3 folder, make another folder called update with all caps. Inside the update folder, grab the PS3 update file that you just downloaded and paste it right in. Once the file is in, you're free to eject your USB drive. Start by getting your PlayStation 3 and turning it horizontally. Here you'll see a latch for the hard drive. Grab a flat tip screwdriver and try to pry it open. You'll see a Phillips screw right here. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and screw it off. Now you'll see a little latch on it. Pull it and it'll pull the hard drive out. You might feel a click when pulling it. But anyways, we have it out. It's inside a tray, so you'll need to unscrew the drive from the tray using your Phillips screwdriver, of course. There should be about two screws on each side. Once you get all the screws out, feel free to push the drive out of the tray. Now I recommend storing the hard drive somewhere safe if you plan on using it again. Otherwise, you can just throw it out. The replacement drive I'm gonna be using is a Adata SU760 256GB SSD. Now I know a lot of people don't recommend using SSDs on a PS3 because you won't be getting that much of an advantage in terms of read and write speeds due to the SATA bottleneck that the system has. But I'm going to be doing it anyway, just because this hard drive is really slow, and it's also the original drive, and it's probably going to die sometime soon. Grab the tray that the hard drive was in, and place the SSD in the exact same way the hard drive was in. Line the SSD or hard drive up with the screw holes, and screw them in place. Eventually, you'll get back to your PS3. Grab the tray that you just put the SSD in, and slide it in the same way it was before. I hope you still had that screw that we took out earlier, because you'll need to screw it back in. After that, you could put the hard drive latch back on. After that, you can grab your flash drive and plug it into your PS3. At this point, you could plug it into your TV and plug it into power, then you can turn it on. You'll probably get this screen asking you to connect the controller to your console, and once you do that, press the PS button and you'll probably get this screen. The system software cannot be run correctly. When you're at the screen, press the start and select buttons at the same time. Here, you'll need to hold down the start and select buttons for at least 5 seconds. After that, your PS3 will start formatting your brand new SSD that you just installed. This will definitely take a while. Once you get to this screen, press the PS button on your controller.
Once you get to this screen, you will have to accept the license agreement by pressing right on the D-pad and then hitting accept. Eventually press the X button again and then it will start installing the update. Eventually, you'll need to connect your controller again and press the PS button. Here, it's basically going to ask you to set up the console just like if you were to buy a brand new one. Select the language, set your screen resolution, in this case I have a 1080p panel, set your time zone, set the date and time, or you can set it later when you connect to the internet. Enter in a username. You can set up your internet connection here, but I'm not going to do that now, I'll just do it later. There you go! Your console has been set up with your brand new SSD. Hope this video was helpful, and as always, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, I finally got the PS3 working. I had to install the SSD. When I did, I had to reinstall the OS and restore the backup that I had my old hard drive, and the power just went out.